So today at around 2 11 a.m., officers responded to a call of an auto accident with injury. Upon arrival, they located the victim within a car, suffering from what appeared to be gunshot wounds or wounds to the head. They immediately contacted uh, emergency medical services. Emergency medical services responded, transported the victim to the University Hospital, where he is listed in grave condition right now. They're still working on him in a trauma bag. Um, additionally, officers responded and learned that two su there were three individuals in the car with the victim, so four total, right? One victim, three suspects. Two of those suspects ran south on Gravier and made good their escape. One of those suspects actually ran into the parking garage in the 900 block of Gravier Street. Um, we worked with that parking garage management to look at surveillance video and saw that he was in fact in the garage on, the set, uh, on one of the floors. So our officers began to lock down this area and you can see that there's a pretty robust police presence out here because uh, not only do we have to lock down the garage, but any um, vantage points that a shooter might have from within the garage overlooking the blocks within the area. Uh, we then called in the SWAT team along with the uh, canine unit. Uh, special operations team arrived on scene conducted a systematic search of the building in order to try and locate the suspect that ran into the garage. As they were conducting that search, we were also continuing to review surveillance video. At this time, it appears that the suspect was able to slip out of a back emergency room, um, emergency exit uh, staircase prior to us being able to lock down this entire area. So we have three individuals that are currently at large. We have nobody in custody. We have a victim who's in great condition at this time at University Hospital. Uh, the reason for all the police presence out here was obviously we had a robust response from the SWAT team and the K-9 unit to attempt to locate this individual that we believed was hiding in the garage. At this point, this is very, very preliminary investigation, right? This happened less than an hour ago. So information might change. As we get more information, um, we'll be sure to give it to you. I don't have descriptions right now of suspects. I don't have information on motives. I don't have the ability to tell you, um, you know, what might have led up to this other than we responded to a call of an auto accident with injury and found a victim suffering from gunshot wounds. The victim was shot from within the car? The victim and the perpetrators at this point, we believe, were in the car together when the perpetrator or perpetrators opened fire on the victim. Which parking garage? It's this one behind my um, shoulder with Park, $16. Um, but he ran in on the Gravier Street side in the 900 block. Did the suspects or suspects fire any shots at law enforcement? No, sir. No. Was the victim in the car? Well, was, it, was the victim driving or passenger? I don't know. I, at this point, I don't know. So it was four people total in the car? Correct. One victim, three individuals that we're currently searching for that we would consider suspects. Any idea where the other, so one apparently went in the garage, the other two, any idea where they went? Two fled south, as I said, on Gravia Street, and then made good their escape. Okay, thank you all very much.